up, Twitch? How you guys doing today? Welcome, you poker enthusiasts. Welcome back to the poker shop. We are back in our new studio. Yes, so excited to be back in here. How are you guys doing? I have missed every single one of you guys. Uh, a week off is just too long to give you some poker news to do some stuff with you guys. So today's show, I'm so lonely. It's just me. You got to deal with me today. Sorry. Nobody's going to take over my show today. It's just me. So we're going to have some fun today. Uh, I'm going to real quick just talk about a few things that are uh, coming up and things like that. And then we're going to get started on our first run through of Pokemon Snap. Super excited about it. I told you guys when the game, when we watched the trailer together, that we were going to be playing this game on stream. Well, we have it. We're going to play it. Super excited for it. I do not know anything about it. So I have not looked at videos. I have not looked at people's playthroughs. Anytime a new game comes out and I'm really excited for it, I don't look at that stuff. So I'm going into this blind. I know I have no idea what's going to happen. So I'm super excited to and have this experience with you guys. So a couple of things. Uh, one, there are some new things that are going to be releasing here soon. They have sent out the promo pictures for the new... Uh, Evolution V Maxes, which are really cool. There are there's a Vaporeon, Umbreon, Clarion, uh, Vaporeon. Did I say Vaporeon? Did I say Vaporeon? Oh, Jolteon and Espeon V Maxes. What's up, Rare Joker? What's up, Tennis Rabbit? What's up, Mark? How y'all you guys doing? Uh, we also do have a new Gengar V Max coming out. Uh, I think that's going to be a promo set, which is really neat. I'm super excited for that. About I'm super excited about that. And then we also have, in June, we're getting close. Super excited. Chilling Rain just coming out in June. Oh, that's that alternate art Blaziken. That is my goal. Like, I don't think, honestly, it's not going to be the money card that everybody's going to go after. It's going to be one of, I believe. But I think, you know, the Calyrex, that the Shadow Rider, I think is going to be the money card. Or the Ice Rider, either one of those two. Sort of like how the Urshifu's were in this in battle styles. But I seriously think that Blaziken is going to be so underrated. It has a good attack on it. It's got good HP. It just it looks that like, that cartoon style art, almost like that spray paint style art. And it looks so cool. I'm super excited. How's everybody doing today, guys? Y'all doing good? We said I'm doing good. Uh a little weird trying to get used to the new surroundings here, you know. It's almost like being inside of a Pokeball. Kind of weird because we got a lot of red on the walls. But I think it's time. I think it's time. We need to go ahead and get ready. So we're going to play some Pokemon Snap. I'm going to take control of my Switch here. By the way, guys, if you do, if you guys want to add me, I'll put this up here real quick. If you guys want to add me, there is my friend code. Are we switched over? Yeah. Okay. There is my friend code. So if you guys want to add me on here and play some games on here sometime, you're more than welcome to. All right. And then... Here we go. Loading the Pokemon Snap. I'm super, yeah, dude. Zelda, baby. I, I didn't realize that I wore my Zelda shirt to match with my controller today. And it's kind of weird. So, but I'm all about Zelda, dude. All right, so who wants to see a Dutch play through? What, y'all want to play, uh, or Italiano, or Sprecherzy George? Okay. All right, we're in English. Oh. Let's see, who do we want to play it as? I guess we'll be the dark haired kid. Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, we'll just keep it fat boy, there we go. Let's go. Oh, there's a little Pikachu and an Eevee. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to the laboratory. Here we go. Pokemon Snap on. Oh, excuse me. New Pokemon Snap. Gotta have that new in there. There's a bottle B. There's Pikachu. He does back there. What? Uh, did we fix the sound issue or? 
Oh, I'm from there. Give me a second, guys. Got any plugging into the card? No. Alright, so there you go, guys. So I'm going to play without sound because I'm used to playing games without sound. But I'm going to let you guys so that you guys can hear it. So thank you, sir. Talking to Kelly, my man behind the camera. He's doing some witchcraft stuff over there. I don't know what he's doing. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. My name is Miri. I'm researching Pokemon in their natural environment here on Florio Island. I'm assuming that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's up, Rita? Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's going to study every single island here in the Lento region. Not everyone's done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. I don't know if that's how she sounds. I'm just going to hit that with her. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Right. It's a good point. You read the stories of Captain Vance, haven't you? She's from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> but even honey, him, the rest of your service is going to be the first time in 100 years. Hey, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> is that Evie? That Evie is photobombing. What are you doing back there, Evie? This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. Wait, but that's him. He's here on vacation with our school on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab and get settled? All right. Right, you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Was it? Is that it? Okay, so we got an Aldino in there. We've got a, a seat that looks like it belongs in Aperture Science. Let's see how many people in the chat actually get that reference. And then we have a Dedene that was over there somewhere. All right, allow me to explain. The Lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing those Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what we're here to do. At night, you might even get... Go up, oh, sorry, forgot the accident. At night, you might even see, get to see the glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Dude, that camera's nicer than my phone. What the heck? That is a nice camera. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. Yeah, it looks like well. Like, it looks like just a phone with one of those weird lenses on them. That, that's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. But yeah, it's a phone. It's a smartphone. Yep. It also serves as sort of an ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. Yeah, that's right. Give, like, $1,000 technology to a kid. Good job. That's smart adulting. What do you think? Awesome, right? The professor invented it. Can I explain how to use it, professor? Oh, this is going to be a lot of talking for me. Good thing, Rena, is the way I'll, I'll go take care of some other preparations. All right, come on, let's go outside. I need you over here doing the country boys. Okay. So I'm not actually, so if you notice, I'm not using my Joy Cons, like I said, I'm using my controller. Perfect timing. Let's try again. Okay, so let's take the photo. So we press A to take the photo. Okay, so now we got a pavilion. Okay, so that's called the pointer. If you use L to move the pointer around, the camera will follow. Alright, so we're gonna Oh, we're gonna go over here. Are there any other Pokemon? No? Some major going on. What, when I turn it? Yeah. yeah. I noticed that they haven't fixed all the bugs yet. Is that on yours? No. Like, there's a little bit, but not much. It's, just, it's a lot of motion blur. All right. Let's, let's take a picture of this Pikachu. 
Dude, right, it says the photo, remember that. Okay, is it when the scroll one? Okay. Let's try snapping a photo. Alright, so we snap the pink tea. It's the ghost of troll. Stop that! Okay, so we gotta zoom in. So, ZL. Okay, can I move the cursor? No, I can't move the cursor up? Okay. There we go. Whole body, smack dab in the middle of the frame. What can be? Bro, true. Yeah. It's an unknown mod. Yep. Looks like you've already, looks like you've already got the hang of using the camera. You're doing great. Hi, you can adjust your camera motion controls from the settings menu. You also can adjust them from the pause menu while you are out doing research. You know when games explain that, isn't that breaking the fourth wall? Yeah. So that's kind of weird to me. Hey, Professor, we covered the basics. I get. I made her sound like Dolly Park. Shouldn't have done that. My favorite part is that your face is imposed over where the character shows up, so it looks like the peach bowl is coming out of you. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's great. How how was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photo? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. You judgy person. I do, Jordan. Yes, we need to get you on here to play sometime. Okay, Pikachu folder. Okay, we got that one. Let's do this one. Pavilion folder. We'll use that. All right, Professor, we're ready to show you. Let's do it. Come on now. Starting with photo number one. A new discovery. Oh, it's a Pikachu. This is the first time you've gotten that. I can't help. Oh. It's the first time you've gotten it as your subject. Pose, size, direction, placement, other Pokemon might be. All right, so I came up with this system to help us understand and categorize Pokemon behavior. Photos of Pokemon is an ordinary state, get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? It's like if you see a Charmander swimming. I'm assuming that's an unusual situation. Because you will never see that because if the tails go out, they die. Yeah, I just took this screen very dark. I'm sorry. To be clear, the number of stars on the photo received doesn't affect its score. Its category is, every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps loads of what you, what was happening when you took each photo. That data helped me categorize your photos. All right, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Here we go. I guess that's good. Side effect for the larger the subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try, try to get it facing you in your photos. Okay, this is placement. Okay. Finally, you have most of other Pokemon in the photo, so if you take pictures of multiple Pokemon, you're good. Let the boy not remember this, and you'll be fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame, the snap show. That reminds me of your evaluation. All right, well, apparently I did good, and it's hard to believe I'm a beginner. I did a good job. All right, so rank my pavilion there. All right, let's see what we got. Is it better than the Pikachu? It did better than the Pikachu, or it did worse. It did worse. All right. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That would be a great milestone to look for to work for. That about does it. It's time to set you off on your adventure. So this is weird. So it's basically now they've set it to where it's like a Pokemon game, but instead of actually catching Pokemon, you just take pictures. Which I'm, I'm assuming was the original Snap. I haven't played the original Snap in probably 15 years. Maybe. Maybe 15, 16 years. So. That should just about do it. See this pod? I'll carry you. Oh, sweet! 
That kind of looks like the top half of a Rage Gigas. That's cool. By the way. It's called a Neo One. Uh oh. We're entering the Matrix, y'all. Take a turn for real quick. Probably could finish your touches on it long ago, but the hell of hell for someone I know. See, it makes us. Makes use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the Wintel region. Come on, Professor, the details can wait. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch the camera to the your console. Two tickets. The game's free so far. You guys think so? In here? You think it's pretty so far? Let me say. Guys out there, what do y'all think? Compared to most Pokemon games, graphics are amazing. A temperate island where humans and Pokemon live together in harmony. There is much, well, okay, I wasn't done reading that. <laughs> no, JT, it's not the Star Trek. I can't even talk. It's not the Star Trek stream. Oh, oh, I'm, yeah, get that. Get that. Oh, look at, look at the little baby here. Dude, yeah, look at you. Come here, Pichu. Look at me. Where are you at, Pichu? Oh, look at the little rookie. Come here, Pichu. Go, Gio. Oh, look at the pictures. Where's the little Pichu? Come here, Pichu. That's going to be. Oh! That's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Oh, that was a, a MOBA? Hello, Badoof. Let's see, we got anything up in the trees? Is Charlie up in the trees? Whirlpool. Oh, there's a couple of Whirlpools. Let's see if we can get them both in here. Are they that bad? Let's see here. Oh, look at another Whirlpool. Whoa, what's that? What's that? I want that. That looks like it's worth money. Okay. I can't really control my physical movement, it's just the shutters. Oh, Swana! I hate your... I hate Swanas. That's cool. Oh, let's... Hold on. I'll take a good wide shot of both of them. Oh, there's a magic card. Cork, cork, magic cork. Anything over there? No. Oh, yeah, little Grookey. Come here, little Grookey. Look at the beach here. Grookey, Grookey, come here. You are. I almost called him something. Ooh, Badoo. Can I get more than just these? Like, you know, what's up? Where's that magic card that was jumping? Oh, that'd be a good one. I feel like this game is super sensitive. Look at the little wonderful. Come here, little buggy bug. Hello. Gosh, the turning is horrible. You would think you want a little bit. Maybe I need to work on the sensitivity. Wonderful, is that way? Holy crap, what's going on? I'm looking at your screen over there. You got some coffee? All right, let's see if we can get a couple more. Like that. Hey, Panda! 
So it's only when I move yeah. that it does that. Okay, hold on. Maybe if I change the sensitivity, it might fix it. Welcome back. I took 30 photos and I photographed 10. All right, so we're gonna do the, the Dodrio, this one right here. I like that one. We're gonna do this Grookey. Uh, let's do that Pichu. I didn't even realize it was a blue font, but we'll do it. Yeah, like, we'll do the <laughs> Yeah. I think this works. Okay, so, hey, Panda, I really couldn't afford it either, but I wanted to get it so I could play with you guys, so. Thank you, Chase Rabbit. Comfy, man, I got a couple of really good ones. I think I'm gonna go with this. The Talo, I'm going for the triple Talo. The Swana, I wanna do those two. And no subject, I can't do any of this. Okay, so let's show the professor. Do I have one for William? I do. Okay, guys, what do y'all think? Should we do the double pavilion or the single? Big say. I think say, no, she's not forcing me to buy video games. You don't know. Uh, she might know now. She in here, honey, if you are, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see what we got. All right. All right. So the pavilion, where's my original? All it didn't do is good. All right. Uh, we'll keep the original. We'll keep this one. All right, so don't, don't three out. A new discovery. I think this is going to be a really good picture. The perfect pose. You see all, all the heads. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Yeah. That's a gold star. That's beautiful. All right, Grookey. Look at him. He's so cute. No, Grookey. Grookey is the best grass starter. Fight me, people. Hey, gold star for Grookey. Nice. Pichu, this one's going to be terrible. This one may be about 2,000. Maybe get a bronze star. Wow. Okay. Is that bronze? Yeah, that's a bronze star, I think. Dude, Grookey, I, I do love Church Week as well, but uh, Rillaboom will beat their heads in on his drum. Look at that pose, 950 just for the pose. Look at that, look at that, look at that, that's a good one. All right, that's a Silver Star. All right, Wormful, that is the cutest Wormful. All right, let's see what we got. Look at that, look at that. Oh, gold star, baby, on the whirlpool. Nice. Comfy, there's like 20 or like four of the Pokemon in that picture. So I better get something good for other Pokemon. Oh, I got 69. Yeah, silver on the Comfy. Kelly got a message. All right, on the Talo. Yeah, horrible pose. That was not a good Taylo. I didn't get any really good ones on Taylo. All right, and then what other ones do we have? Swana. I think this is going to be a good one. I, love, I think the placement on this is going to be good. This. Oh, really? Man, I thought I'd do better. Hmm. 
Well, I got some gold stars. I got a couple of gold stars, which is good. Let me tell you about our research. I didn't even hit level two. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Well, no, they told you that if you have more than one mod in the picture, you can get a better score. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways that they haven't seen before. Yeah, I got to shoot for them close-ups. The key to raising your research level is observe all types of Pokemon behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category from one to four. So in short, fill up that Pokedex, photo deck. Keep that in mind, and you'll be on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and share the encounters with Pokemon you have around. I never guessed it was your first trip out there. Keep up the good work. I got a present. What'd I get? Oh. Why you got to me a new before? Huh? Hey, smack dab in the middle. You got a score of 1,000 points or more in the placement category. Nice. Uh, we'll see the photos of the album. Uh, I want to save that Del Drio photo. We'll save that one. I want to save the Grookey. I want to save my gold stars. I want to save my gold stars. The Wurmple. Yeah. We'll save it. Okay. And then we're good. That is true. So we're going to return to camp. Okay. So while we're waiting to return to camp, I will announce our giveaways. So we have a very special giveaway for you today, which is, it's really cool. We talked about it on the stream before. It's also a the deal of the day on trolltoad.com. La la la. It is the starter binder promos. So this is for the oversized starter packs. That they're coming out with each month. So we've already had the Gen 8 and the Gen 7. So the Galar and the Alolan regions. So now you can get this if you have those and put these in there. And these are working on the new style promos as well. But this is why everybody gets the freaking binder. It's because of this right here. You get the oversized Pikachu promo. Look at that. The original base set. Pikachu promo. Isn't that so cool? Isn't he so fat and so cute? Who misses Fat Pikachu? I know I do. Fat Pikachu was awesome. Thank goodness for Pokemon Sword and Shield, they brought him back in his gigantic max form. So I love it. What's up, Daruda Bear? How you doing, buddy? But we got two of these to give away, plus we have some web credits at the end. So I guess we go ahead and roll for the first one. Let's just make the first one Pikachu. That's simple. All right. So we'll give that a few minutes to let that roll. We'll get back to the game. Woot woot. That covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon after a little more practice. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about when you stop by the lab. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Have a good time and snap some photos. Keyword, Chonky Chew is cool. All right, so I guess we're going to go to research. Are you headed out on another expedition already? Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. Oh, that gives you details about your surroundings. I'll tell It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Professor, what counts as unusual? You never given me a solid answer. Basically, anything that makes the system go. Check this out. Yeah. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're going to get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. I'm just waiting to see how long the noise Chris Kelly in here. Now I'm talking like this. Okay, tutorials based on the button left. Running a scan is easy. All you gotta do is press X. 
All right, I'm press I'm pressing X. But now you're making me press A. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up there, right? No, there's a question. But yes, the Pikachu's name pop. And did you also notice that? Yeah, I did. That tells you there's something you can take a close look at. First, move that over there. All right, we'll move that over there. Did you see it change head? Oh my goodness, you did. That's your cue to press and hold X to analyze what it was there. All right, well, I'm going to give it a try. All right, we're going to press X. Look at that, the Neo 1. Now you should see the results. I'm way ahead of you, woman. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of the professor came up with the name Neo 1. Well, pretty easy, right? Well, this icon pops up at the bottom of the screen, and there's something nearby to check out. Uh oh, we gotta go check it out. Well, let me check it out! When you see that, try running the scan and take any careful look around. Alright, oh, I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you can do you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound of the electrical signal from the scan. I'm gonna get eaten by something. I'm gonna get eaten by something because they're gonna hear that scan and they're gonna come attack me. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. The vet that calls it an accidental say cheese feature. With the accent, by allowing spoilers. Okay, so for anybody that's new that just came in, this is a blind playthrough. I have not looked up anything on Pokemon Snap. I have not looked up gameplay features, anything like that. This is brand new to me. It's blind. So please uh, don't don't try to spoil this. Uh, now, if you have, you can send them on. That's fine because I know who all is in it. All right. They kind of released a lot of that in the trailer, but don't spoil like any mechanics or anything like that that are coming up because I want to have that genuine reaction with you guys. So. Oh, Drew Bear saw Doom. He saw a picture of a Doom. He's super excited. Anyway, that all cover everything. Doom! Hey, Professor, explanations all done. Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run scan. I'll tell you what. What's up, Stoutland? What are you doing back there? Just coming up from the side. What? All right. Peace out, homie. Don't hesitate to run scan. I'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. All right, now, okay, so let's look at settings and see if there's something I can do here. Okay, motion controls are off. Camera. We're going to change that. Should I, change, should I up the speed a little bit? Let's see, we'll up it to there. Camera speed, we'll up to there. We'll put them at seven. Yeah, that's, that one was tired of my crap. He did not want anything to do with me. Uh, button layouts are good. Uh, no, let's turn off. Uh, yeah, let's go in this one. Okay, cool. Now, okay, yeah, now the shutter is moving a little bit faster. Okay, so now let's go research. Okay, so let's go to the natural part. Part day, I think this is the one I've already done. Yeah, it, it looks like I'll show you. Yeah, so this is the one I've already done. So let's see if we can get some better pictures. How's that going? Is it worse? Or? Okay. Look at that! Oh, that's a good picture. Oh, that's a winning picture. What's up, buddy? Why did that label that a Badoof? That's a big Badoof, but that is one. That's no drill. Look at all the... Oh, it's so awesome! The glitch is gone. Okay, I knew it was that camera speed, something like that. Let's just take a picture of that. Let's see what that is. 
I don't get anything off that. Pretty flowers. Hello. Hello. Everything down that water? Is there a magic card? Something like that? Did it do it again? <laughs> oh! Get the dirt! Hello, Momo! Wait a minute. Fast scan, right? Isn't that what that means? I'm scanning. Hey, for sure. I'm missing cool stuff. Ooh, mushroom. I don't know how. Here we go. Oh, I caught it. Mm, not a good close up, but I caught it. Caught it again. Jump again, you little turd. Jump again. There you go. Oh, gotcha. Jump again. Come on. Come on. I'm going to take 27 pictures of this magic card. Wait. Who's our giveaway winner? Circuit Circus. Congratulations. Oh, hello, Mr. Groovy. Come in here. I missed a good one with a swan. Look at that. That BD. Look at that swan. Look at that swan. Oh, look at you, little buddy. Look at you. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> but, dude, he's so cute. Oh, look at that. Gotcha. What the, 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 the speed is still not fast enough for me like to get to this stuff quick. Uh-oh. Yeah, I stand. What are we looking at? Scan, darn you, scan. That's a hoot hoot butt. We took a picture of a hoot hoot butt. Oh, look at him. He's stretching. He's so cute. There's a tail. Oh, hello. That's a toot toot. We're going to get a little bit closer. Hi, buddy. Don't fly off. There you go. That's a good picture right there. Oh, look at these pretty pictures. I'm just snapping pictures like crazy. I got the tail of the butt. Apparently, I've been taking pictures of birds, but. Hey, Florgus, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I can't feel you. You're so pretty. All right. If Dolly Park, if Dolly Park play Pokemon Center, well, I do say we got a bunch of them Pokemon there. All right, so Sir Circus, you won the first one. We're gonna send that over there. We'll run our second giveaway here in a little bit. Let's see. All right, so Pichu, we oh yes, yes, that is a perfect one. We actually have one. I would say this one, the Florgus, because we got a little closer, I'd say that one. Magic card. That one. The Comfy. I wanna do that one. Yeah, that Pikachu, the Pikachu Grookey one is really good. There's the Immobile sitting in the tree. That's not gonna be very good. There's Hoot Hoot's butt. It is fun. It is fun. Do we want to switch out the Grookey pick and try to compare and see what we get? I don't think we're going to get better. But we could because he actually is facing us. I'm going to try that Dodrio picture and see what it does. I do want to switch out Badoof. That picture right there is great. Pavilion, I think we're going to get better. I think that one's going to be good. The Swana... I don't think we're gonna get better than that. 
Wurmple, no. Taylor, we will. Taylor, I think this one will be the better. All right, so let's try this one. Let's try these. Let's see what we can do here. Pork Day! All right, here we go. So my first pavilion picture got 24.56. So let's see what this one gets. Wow, it did, I cannot get a good picture of a million, apparently. All right, so let's see what Pichu did. Pichu did not really have a photo. Best photo yet. Two star, baby. Yes. Chris, the collector, gifting two subs. Rare Joker to Major Ranger Polly. That is awesome. And that came as, out of a two-star, man. We got a two-star. Nice. Heck yeah. That's a two-star diamond. That is awesome. All right, so my original Badoop did three, four, four, four. Let's see about this Badoop. Perfect score on size. Oh! Baby! Nice! I will take that. That is a good picture. All right, so Dojurio, I think the first Dojurio is going to win. So let's see what it is. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, so the first Dojurio won. So we're going to keep that. This game is awesome. Okay, so Bufon, this is the first one I've got a Bufon. Uh, other Pokemon, not bad. Got a bronze. But still, I'll take it. Florgus, this should get decent points. All right, Gold Star. I'll take it. Emova, this will be a terrible one. This will be a terrible one unless it's going to rank on where it's at. Yeah, okay. It's going to be bad. All right, Hoo Hoo Butt. I think Hoo Hoo Butt. Nope, that's perfect. Right, here we go. There we go. Doing something extraordinary. Hey! Wow! Two-star bronze. I will take that. Taylor, I think this Taylor picture is going to kill that one. Yes. Yes. Yes, baby. There we go. Went from a one-star bronze to a one-star gold. Definitely good on that one. And then Grookey, it's gonna hard to it's gonna be hard to beat that original. Yeah, okay, so that's a one star bronze. We're gonna, so we're gonna keep the original group. All right, hoo hoo butt. Let's see what hoo hoo butt's gonna get. Let's see what hoo hoo butt's gonna get. The bronze. Oh well. All right, Comfy. I think this new photo is gonna do better. I think. Oh, wow, it did worse. I suck as a photographer. What's up, Nefresso Espresso? Welcome to the stream. We're level two. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in this area are getting comfortable with you. Uh oh, what we'll we get? What we'll we get? As big as possible. You got a score of 2,000 points or more in the size category during your photo evaluation. Nice. And look this way. You got a score of 1,000 points or more in the direction category. Nice. Together with friends. Oh. You got a score of 500 points or more in the other Pokemon category during photo evaluation. Nice. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Uh, yeah, let's save something for the photo. So we're going to save, yes, this one we have to save. Um, the Magic Carp we have to save. Uh, the Badoof we have to save because it's Diamond. We'll save Hoot Hoot Butt. 
And the four years went to go, but we'll save it. Cleaning a little bit? Nice. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna return to camp. Alright. Let's see. There's an Albino again. Your photography seems to be going well. I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to the Floral Nature Park. The Floral Nature Park. Hopefully you'll get to see one of Lent Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step forward for our ultimate goal. World domination with glowing Pokemon. I mean, what? Finding the special Pokemon spoken of the legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. no, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what in those photos. And they're ancient anyway, like a hundred years old. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime out. Oh gosh, this is where I get eaten by a nursery. I get eaten by a nursery or a kangaroo or something like that. Or slight, uh, slacking. Okay, so I'm assuming, okay, so I click here. Oh, cool, so it does have the nighttime option, that's cool. So we're looking for a little bit of Pokemon the glowing ones. Alright, Chris. Can we skip this? No, we can't skip this. Alright, so let's see what we got. This is gonna be a little bit harder. Well, hello, Cinder Eyes. Come here. Come in, little buddy. No, oh, oh, whoa. Firebutt, where are you going? Whoa. Look at all the Bupons. They're all up here sleeping. Man. Sweet. Whoa, okay. That's cool. Whoa, Cinderace, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you, what are you? Oh, hello, little buddy. Hello, hello, come here. I love that score bunny, he's so cute. Look at the caterpillars up in the trees. Look at the caterpillars up in the trees. What? There's a Oh, that's a Tangrove. That's a Pokemon. Okay. Got, oh, I got Murkrows. I got Murkrows. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Yeah, I, I can see that. There's a swan, huh? Oh, yes! Yes! Okay, this, I'm excited. I'm excited. I love Torterras. Torterra is one of my favorite Pokemon. And come here, buddy. Kelly's probably pretty happy too because they're technically turtle Pokemon. Look at him sleeping. Look at that little boy sleeping. Oh, okay. Is it? Oh, whoa, glowing swan. Oh, look at the little ducklings. Ain't they cute? Well, thank you for liking my. Hello, thank you. Don't you give me that side eye, you little turd. Oh, hoot hoot. There's a much better picture of hoot hoot. It's not just his butt. Oh, look at the Murkrows. Look at the little Murkrows. Let me do some cute eye, boy. Hey, don't you sass me, boy. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Oh, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. We need like a million pictures of that. There we go.
Okay, and pictures. Yes. There we go. What else we got? What else we got? Oh! Hello, big boy. Oh, what up, hoot hoot? What up, dude? Where's your homie out there? What's up, buddy? You doing all right? Take good. Yeah, that pins are just like, hey, man. Whoa! This is cool. This is cool. I love the nighttime. Oh, that torpedo! Oh, that torpedo is giving me the meaning. Look, hey, buddy, hey, hey, man, hey, help! Oh, look at this score bunny sleeping on the torpedo. Knowing when it becomes a cinder race, it's gonna kill that thing. Oh, oh, ain't that sweet? Hold on, we need a better picture. We need a better picture. And we need to be the score bunny. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we're getting another one to come be. Okay, so in my opinion, the nighttime is 10 times better. You get a lot more instances where you see Pokemon doing weirder stuff, or just you get a lot more Pokemon close up. So the sleeping at night is much better. Fun fact, a kid who's just used to me. Really? Let's get our photos evaluated. Uh, who thinks we did really well? Because I do. I think that's the one that's going to win for Score Bunny. I think for Buffont. I'm going to use that one. For Combi, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, I did too. Uh, the category, we only got the one. Pangrove, we're going to use this one. Murkrow, we're going to use my boys. We're... The ones that cheese. The one smiled for the picture. Look at it. He smiled for the picture. We like it. All right, so for Torterra. Oh, it made that a Torterra picture? Oh. Let's use this one. All right, I think that one's going to work for that one. Duck Hunt, we'll use that. Pidgeot, we got that one. For Hoot Hoot, I think this one's the winner. Oh, no. Okay, so we took it for Grookey. Or did it take it for Pichu? Okay, I want to use it for Pichu, and I'll use that one for Grookey. Oh, thank you. Okay, that. Yeah, I think we got some. I think we got some really good scores here. Let's do this. All right, time to check out these photos. So, score money. I think this is probably one of the best pictures we could have gotten for score money. Oh yeah. Okay, we got a goal. The only other one I think of that would have been cooler is if he was running and he had to fight. So we might try that one next. Buffon. That one was cool. Size, yeah. Oh, baby! Two star silver. I'll take it. All right, combi. Oh, look at the combi. Take me to your queen. Give me the honey. There we go. There we go. Thousand replacement. That's good. I'll take it silver. We're getting good scores. We're, we're at least getting over 3,000, which is good. I'll take it. So the Caterpie, very cute, but I don't think this one's going to be a great one. Yeah, it's our first bad one, bronze one. Okay. It's just because it was too far away, and I should have waited until we got a little closer. All right. Ten, uh, ten girls. 450 for the pose. Size is great. That size is great. So we got a gold there. All right. And then we've got the Murkrows. Let's see what my boys do. Nice 
Sorry, I got mentioned about mercy. Oh! Wow! Matt, I'm loving it. The Murkrow cheese admitted it. We got a three star diamond. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We got a three star diamond. That is awesome. Wow. Murkrow love their pictures. All right, here's the Torterra. This is the one that I'm worried about. All right, let's see how we do on Torterra. Hey, diamond. I'll take it. Dude, Matt, I love it. All right, I don't think this one's going to be great. I mean, it's cool with the mom swimming and everything. Two-star gold, baby! I'm, I, so the reason why I'm getting excited is because, like, when I played Pokemon Snap originally, and they had, like, their grading system, I sucked. Now I'm actually getting good photos and stuff like that. Plus, I'm older now. So there's the ducklets. This will be a bronze. This will be a, I'm calling it one star bronze. What? What? You're kidding me. That got a three star silver? This professor likes burgers. And he likes ducks. He wanted me to take a picture of a hoo hoo book. Wow. All right. No, I really don't either. All right, so let's see what this Pidgeot gets, because I like this Pidgeot. I love this picture. One star diamond. Okay, cool. They want more butts, yeah. But see, that's what I'll get. Like, yeah, if you look at the scores, Versus what I'm getting in diamond and stars, it really doesn't correlate like, because you feel like if I hit that 3,000 mark, I might get like one star gold or one star or two star bronze. But here I hit over 4,000 and I've got one star diamond. I don't know. I'll look it up. Stars the pose. Okay. Okay. All right. So our last hoot hoot got 25 26. I think we're going to kill it. Oh, 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 baby. There we go. 4,500. 4,500, but still only a one-star diamond. Yeah, we're going to keep the new one. Duh. I don't understand. All right, Grookey. Let's see if the new Grookey photo beats the original. I really don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. The new Grookey one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that just, that's just cuteness overload if I've ever seen it. And we're going to keep the new one. We'll replace it. All right, Pichu, the last one got 2762. Same thing here with the Grookey one. It's going to kill. There it is. One star diamond, 4302. We're going to keep that one. That's probably going to be one of the best. Those two are two of my best pictures right there. Kenzer, now this should be a good one. All right, so I got two stars already. Wow. Two star diamond. Nice. Level two. Nice. I got a present. What I get? Oh. I got a profile icon. Um, nice. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. Did you tell me that last time? I feel you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Uh, let's say photos album, and let's get all my big boys. So, yeah. 
So I'll save that. Well, I really don't have to, do I? Uh, we're going to save. We're going to save Tangro. Yeah, I know. That'd be cool, Rabbit. That'd be really cool. Uh, we'll do the Torterra. Uh, I want to save this Torterra, too. Save the Pidgeot. We, of course, we got to save these two. The three-star the three star Diamond Murkrow, the three-star Silver Duckling. We have to save. We have to save. Uh, we'll save those. We'll save that. And we'll save, we'll save all of our winners. All right, cool. Now we're going to back out. And we're going to return to camp. Let's see if Dolly Parton's back. Is Dolly Parton going to be here? Wow. Hmm, this, that's intriguing. Hey, guys. Something, this is, incredible, is something incredible is happening. Here, here take a look at this. Look at this thing I've been. It's just real. What's up, Aldinia? When you got near the field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Its source seemed to be moving, too, if only slightly. Which suggests that we've got here is... An Illumina Pokemon? We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Oh, I want to go see Tanya. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. Right. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Is it? Okay. All right, guys. So let's, we got to go back. We, we got to go back to the Illumina spot. We got to get a pure picture of this Illumina Pokemon. Watch it kill it twice. Yeah, shut up, Rita. We're special, you're not. There you go. Nobody likes Rita because she's talking like this. She really doesn't, but I gave her that balance. I have the biggest eyes in the world. Oh, crap! Aliens! Holy crap. It's Godzilla! Or a big Meganium. You're gonna cry then. Look at that Meganium. Can, can, let me, can, 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 well, let me take it. Yeah, yeah. Turn to me! Turn to me! Look! 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 Oh yeah! I took a picture of your butt. Where you going? 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 Oh, it's eating it! It's eating it! It's eating it! Cool, cool! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now you got all spiky. What are you? What are you doing, Meganium? What are you doing? Oh, look at that! Look at the happy Meganium! Where, where is that at? Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at, the, look at the camera. Look at the camera. What is the photographer saying? Make love to the camera. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, look at how pretty you are. You're a pretty beginning, aren't you? Yes, you are. Move, freak! Look at me, buddy. Look at me, buddy. It's the shot. Look at me. Yeah! Look at me. There you go. I'm scanning you. Take a look at me. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. There we go. Look at me. Look at me. There it is. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Where you going? Where you going? Where, where, you, where you going? To be? Uh, whoa, whoa. Why can't I see behind the tree? Why can't I see behind the tree? Yeah. Yeah. This one is no 5'11". This one is like 10. Oh, oh, hi, 
Hi, hi, hi! Where are you going? Well, let's take us after it! Can I submit, like, all 40 photos I just took? Because, like, I got some really good shots in. Somebody put too much rare, too many rare candies in that thing. I like how I took 46 photos, but it was all of them, one Pokemon. All right, here we go. I can only submit one. Which will it be? I don't know. Uh, Mystic, what's up? Do I have a three star? With R. I can't commit it. It won't let me submit it. Oh, I got a three-star photo. It won't let me submit it. <laughs> the one of the butt. <laughs> Crystal. Yeah, I, I think this one is the one, either that one or that. I would think it'd be one. Let's do this one. I said 30 or 31, so let's look. All right, chat, let's put the vote. 29, 30, or 31. What do you guys want? 29, 30, or 31, one of those three. Oh, so I so so far you've seen me play this. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to pick up Pokemon Snap yourself? I personally am really enjoying it because I'm having fun with you guys being an idiot, doing these voices and everything. But I'm really enjoying the game. Um, it's weird because I'm so used, to, you know, like a lot of us play the Pokemon games, we're so used to Pokemon where we just battle and we catch Pokemon, we train them up, we evolve them, stuff like that. This kind of gives us a new feel for it. And if you never played the original Pokemon Snap, you know, now, now they've made it to a modern generation to where you can have a chance to play. And it's fun. Just the end goal is to basically just take the best picture. It's one of the probably the least stressful games you'll ever play. Even though I'm getting stressed because my three-star photo didn't wasn't good enough, apparently. Sons of guns. But it's just it's really cool because you had the chance here just to play a relaxing Pokemon game. Yeah, it's what it seems like that. It seems like it's way better than the original. Alright guys, polls open. We'll we'll set up for two minutes. So at 317 we'll close it. And make sure you vote. 29, 30, or 31. Let's see which one of those is gonna get us the better picture. The original game was Pokemon Snap, which came out for the uh, Nintendo 64. So, it came out for the Nintendo 64. Uh, I forgot what year it was. Chris, can you look that up for me real quick? When the original Pokemon Snap came out? Um, it was really fun. It was really cool. Really? It was 99? Well, I thought it was 2001. So, July 26, 1999. So, yeah, that's 22 years ago. Ah, I'm old. I am just old. But yeah, it came out in the Nintendo 64. Uh, me personally, I did not play it when it first came out because I did not own an N64. I was a PlayStation kid. I, I went with Crash Bandicoot, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, uh, Parappa the Rapper. Was it really? It really? Wow. What? 
the 64 then must have been like 96, 97 then, somewhere around there. Yeah, because GameCube was 2002, 2003. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So it's 317. Who won the poll? 30 won the poll. Okay. All right, so we use 30. Can we use that? Oh, I can use this one as a crystal. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, let's have a look. Yes, the butt picture actually is going to be presented. All right, so let's see the score. So we got two stars. So let's see if we can get diamond. We need diamond. Diamond. Yeah, baby. 47.33. We got diamond. Nice. Heck yeah. So there we go. We got diamond on that one. I want to redo this one again. All right. There's Meganium butt in the Crystal Loom. Let's see what this does. This is an automatic. Oh, it's just a regular. Cool. There's no photo. It's fine. Hey, Dark Force. How you doing? Come on. Give me give me, give me, me good points. Give me good points. We're on level two. Now we're still on level. Oh. We leveled up to level two in the Illuminous spot. In a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes, no matter how small. Nice pose. You got to score 1,000 points or more in the post category during your photo evaluation. Sorry, that was a little bit. Gentle wonder. You research, you registered the Illumina Pokemon Meganium to your Pokemon Games. Yeah, I know. I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm super excited. Ooh, there we go. We got that. By the way, now that we've got the Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to... What did this man do? I'm doing all the work. I'm getting the photos. He's doing nothing. It's my favorite trouble with person. Well, thank you, Dark Horse. I appreciate it. We're going to save... All right, we're going to save Meganium Butt. We're gonna we're gonna save side eye Meganium. We're gonna save R30. We're gonna save that. We're gonna save 29 and 31. Uh, I really like this one. That's the one that was gonna be the three star. I thought it was gonna be great. I like that one. Now I like that. Cool. So we're gonna save those. Let's meet back up with Dolly Park. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be all book books. Well, that makes me sad, don't you? Ha! Eat it. Come on, Rita. What you got? Yeah, you're back. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? She sounds like a female version of Gomer Pyle. Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? Wasn't it say, say, saying something? Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Look who's talking. You were practicing dancing, Professor. <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was the Lumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Oh, remind me when the Legends say about Lumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly say Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? So the story goes, yes. Just goes, yes. The Lumina Pokemon were also said to have distinct patterns and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like I need frame. Yes, two of them. I'm convinced the events of those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all our research. Hang on, wasn't that one more important thing you were going to mention, Professor? That's all right, it's pretty late. Let's pick up in the conversation for your tomorrow. All right. I know, what a tease. Good morning, did you manage to get some sleep? No, I've been here for like the whole minute I was gone. Alright, what's up, bro? I'm ready to I'm ready to take some photos of more Pokemon. Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. 
You think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? <laughs> well, you know, maybe. For a scientist, sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you and I. You hitting on this like 10 year old boy, that's just kind of wrong. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? Do I have a choice? Yeah, Miriam. Yeah, exactly. Miriam. Well, then, let's make it official with the team bag. Hey, you still get back. Really? You put it on your hat? You do? Hold on, that like that? That's your yeah. It's like you were born to wear it. Right. Well, what are you waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your grave. But I need to get a couple more things ready first. Oh, come on. Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth it. Right. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Is there a mirror turning coming to that? We got the team bag. All right, so we're going to do some more research. All right. Oh, really? That's cool. Now that you're a full-fledged team member, I have something for you that will come in handy. An apple? Really? You're going to give me an apple? Dum, dum, dum! He's not real. As for explanation, would you do the honor reading? Yeah, sure. But is it just me, or have you been getting me to do a lot more work lately, Professor? I told you, he's lazy! He don't do nothing! Makes me to do everything. Oh, well, time to explain like the great assistant I am. Professor, Professor Fuji. This is a fluff fruit. No, it's an apple. It looks just like an apple. You ain't. Y'all are lying. That is a straight up apple. They grow here in the Mitchell region. They're sweet and tasty. They make a great snack for Pokemon. They may look like a regular apple. They are. But they're way finer and softer. You'll probably make Pokemon safe to toss one of these things. Right. Let's get you some practice. Yeah, it was gone. Hey, so I think it's time for a quick moment of this practice. Let's run and give away number two. If you don't know what we're giving away, if you're new in the stream, the oversized starter binder that comes with the Pikachu promo. The oversized Pikachu promo. If you get any of the oversized starter packs or any of the new oversized Pokemon uh, cards out of the promos, they work. The old oversized will not work in these binders. Keyword, lentil. Since we're in the lentil region. L-E-N-T-A-L. -E it's come up on the screen like 20 times. Don't make me to come back there and get you. L-E-N-T-A-L. Come on, let's give him a try now. All right, so we're going to toss fruit. Come here, Pikachu. Come here. Come here, buddy. There's a fruit for you. Look at that. Oh, look at him. He's eating an apple. Look at him. He's giving us a snack. Look at that. Look at that. Look All right, cool. Give it a try. All right. We're going to make this Pikachu fast. Hey, hey, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Now I'm just wasting that. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Look at that. Get out of here, Richard. Whoa. Where'd that one go? Did I Kobe that one? All right. That be Don't, forget what I told you. Don't you tell me what I'm. Let him, let him. Pretty easy, right? I think that should be all we need to know. So I guess now we just wait until the professor gives us a green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. You should try testing out fluff fruit and taking some more photos in the meantime. The professor says there's all kinds of ways to use it. Professor explaining, let's see. Thanks, Rita. I've got one more thing to tell you about, about for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what we see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Lentalk? 
I have no idea. It rings the bell, I think. Yep. It's a communication tool. Folks use here in Lentil Beach. Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and description over to Web Talk. I can even send things I notice on the monitor, too. Well, that sounds super fun. Look for Lentil Talk messages in the top right of the screen as a research camper elsewhere. That ought to Hey, 99 what's up? I am seriously going to lose my voice doing this. Like, because that hurts, but I'm having fun doing it. It's worth the pain. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want to take another run at the day one again. I know we've already done it, but now that we can throw the fruit, I want to see what we can attract. Oh, oh man, I missed one. Kobe. Eat it. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. He's eating it. He's eating it. He's eating it. Look at him. Oh, I think we'll be our picture. That's it. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. Here, have some fruit. There's some fruit. Sorry, buddy. Uh oh, we have to dance on him. Oh, it's that mushroom. Do you eat fruit too? Oh, I hit him with it. Oh, I hit him with it. I hit him with it. I got too many Pokemon murders. Yeah, no. All right, I want to catch a better picture of that match one. We don't need a bigger picture of the duck, but I'll tell you that much. Look at my dude. Look at him sitting on his butt. You deserve an apple. Come here, boo-boo. There's an apple. There's an apple, buddy. Oh, I hit him too. Sorry. Oh, the face! The face! They're so cute. I think we got a good one there. Hoot hoot, bud. That's a good one of a swan. All right, let's see if he jumps. Let's see if he jumps. Jump, you mother. Mm. Oh, hey. I think we got a good one there. That's a good one in the pavilion. We need a better one to calm feet. Y'all eat apples? There you go, Kobe. Oh, I hit the porgus. Oh, she's eating apple. She's eating apple. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. Oh, she waved. She waved. Cool, Kobe. 
Yeah. The one the golf wings? He tried to next time. Yeah, baby, that floor gets picture should be at least a two or three star. She waved at us. That is awesome. I did great, Professor. You fake Professor, you. All right, so Buffon. All right, since we got a three star. So we'll do that one. Dodrio, we only got a two star. We'll do that because they're all talking. Whirlpool, we've got a two star. I think him holding the apple is one of the better ones. Oh, where is it? Where is it? There it is, where she waved. There we go. Badoof, I've got a two star. Look at that beauty. All right. Comfy, I've got a two star. Uh, Grookey, no. One star. Pavilion? Man, it's still only on one star. Okay, I got a two star on the magic card. Taylo. Only on one star. Okay. Yeah, it's like Beyonce. Right, let's see what we got. By the way, can we roll who our winner is? Roll Sweetness. 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 Rock Panda! Oh, you won yourself the binder with the oversized computer. Congratulations, Panda! Congratulations. Won some web credits yesterday. Now you won. Yeah. That's a three star. That is going to be awesome. So let's see what we get. Three star silver. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, we almost have four stars total. All right. So let's see if we get a better photo. Oh, my goodness. That's a gold. We'll take it. Finally, we can get better. All right. Here we go. All right, here we go. So for Dodrio, we got a two star. <laughs> two star gold, I'll take it. Nice. So Whirlpool, we got a two star. Good score, good score. Come on. Ah, nice. Holding the apple. Got the two star diamond. All right. This better get diamond. This is one of the best photos I've taken. This better get diamond. Yeah, baby. Three star diamond. All right, so magic card, 2467. Let's see what happens here. Man, still that two-star bronze. If I can catch him close up, getting out, diving out of the water, be much better. All right, but dude, first two-star. 484 start off, not good, but look at that, look at that, look at that. Two-star gold, I'll take it. Comfy. 945 for pose. That's really good. But I think it's going to be two-star bronze. Yeah, because it wasn't a great picture. So, we did awesome that round. We did awesome. All right, let's see what we got in points. Perseverance is key ingredient of research. You have my help every step of the way. Uh, so, what do you think? I, what do you guys think? Should we retry it or go back to nighttime? We're going to save our photos no matter what. We're going to save our three stars. And our two stars. I'm done saving the one star. We need to get better. Uh, let's see. Nighttime? All right, we'll go nighttime. All right, so we're going to go back. Return to camp. Do 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 
I don't know why I sang the Pink Panther. It's coming around again. Come on, you gotta be ready. No, wait a minute, I'm gonna read it. Darn it. You can do it, just focus. Uh oh. Well, look who it is. It's some dude. Hi, Professor, it's been a while. I gotta come up with a new voice for all of them. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. I see I need a good, I need a good voice for him. If I could give him an English accent, I would. Are you the one who caught an Anubia Pokemon on camera? Way to go, that's a big deal. Todd, did you bring what I asked you to? I sure did. You're a life server. Now, if I'm going be able to sit up. Huh? Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? An old travel companion, to be precise. Todd, is he the new Gary? Yeah, he probably is. If he's the main character from. Oh, yeah, he is! Todd is the main character. I totally forgot about that. He's been helping me plan our big survey of lentil, of lentil food. No kidding! Kelly's over there, Jim. Oh, is that a new pod you put together? Reminds me of all the good old days. But hey, let me let me see those aluminum Pokemon photos. Wow, you've really got an eye for this. Wow, you really got an eye for this. Back off, kid. Hey, back off, kid. Get your own mentor. Oh, this guy's gonna hurt doing his voice, but I'm gonna do it like. Like a spike or something like that. So you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Easy there, Phil. I'm tempted to take part in the big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? I'm fine with that if you are, Todd. Yes, awesome. You can be my stand in for now, but don't forget I'll need that badge back eventually. All oh, fine, but if you take a super cool photo, I keep the badge. And, uh, so yeah, what's an ecological survey? <laughs> oh, my master bro is gonna be sore today. Now that you're all here, now that you're all here, let's get we can get started. Team. Listen up, team. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the survey. Of the survey. This should be a super car, called Tenji. This is Florio Island, our home, sweet home. The circle spot right here is our camp. But this survey will take us past the shore. Nobody's gonna get that. But I get I get. But it's what? But this survey will take us past these shores. And this will be our first destination. Vesuvia? Is that what that said? Vesuvia? Why are we starting there? I'd take the spot where there are hot energy moves. The Neo One should be able to teleport to it. This island showed up in the travel log, right? It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there. Two of them. Come on, Come on already. Let's get into the survey thing started. Fair enough. Enjoy your first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. So now if it's like I've caught my first Pokemon. And now I'm the ten year old and I can just go by myself now? Is that what this is like? Let's see here. New area unlocked. Is that what this is? Ooh. Alright. Jungle day. <laughs> it's a new day, yes it is. <laughs> Oh, I see a bump sweep. All right, here we go. We got a bump sweep. Is there anything here? There's a pick pack over there somewhere. Oh, a pumps! I hit the bow fruit button.
Get him on, sweets. Is there nothing over? That's a spider. Oh, beautiful eye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's see here. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Scanning. Okay, so Crystal Bloom looks different there. Uh, I see a Nui bat. Whoa! Arbok! Chom! Hey, Paul. Kobe! Oh, I hit him. Eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. Eat the fruit. You will. Somebody. Black side. Beautifly, why are you phone bombing all my photos? I know you're beautiful, but dang, get out of my photos. One jeep of you. Somebody's rocking journey outside. On and on. Scanning. What we got? There's a magic code. Maybe we got a better magic code though. Whoa, Agent Runes. Oh, look at the live bar. It wants some food. Anything in the water? Wow, this is cool, man. This game is super colorful. That's a beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Oh, hello, Life Heart. Hello. That's a beautiful photo. Look at the quiet tires playing. Look at them. They look so cute. They look like so much. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh! I didn't get it jumping. Darn it. Uh, yeah, the life process. This beautiful eye won't get away from me. Let's see if I can hit the bike star with it. Kobe. Hello, Pick a Pack. Hello. Hello, Pick a Pack. Hello. We're so cute. People. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? What darkness do you have to discover huh? in this mystery cave? No, he's not. Quagsire is not the goofiest looking thing ever. Alright, let's go ahead, because we're getting close to the end, let's go ahead and roll for our web credits giveaway and just simply keyword web credits. Let's keep it simple. $25 in web credits! So if you want to try to win that, keyword web credits. Woot woot. All right, so the bounce suite, we only have one star, which I'll choose that one. The live hard, wow, that's only a two star. That was beautiful.
The Beautifly only got one stars. I'll do this. The Slack King was a one star. The Pick Effect. I think that one. Chum. All right, Magic Card. Quagsire. I only got one stars for it. I like that one. A Palm. A Palm, I got a two star. Man, I didn't, I didn't do very good on these. So let's see what we got. You can't win, Jordan. All right, so the bounce suite, let's see what we got. I'm gonna say Braun. Yeah. I know you are. The live part, this one, I'm gonna say gold on this. And put your prediction in the chat as well if you wanna do that. I'm putting gold on this. If I get more than that. Oh, I got diamond. Oh, my. We got diamond. The Beautifly might have been a little too close. It changed on. All right, All right. Oh, 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 diamond, diamond. Yeah, baby, diamond. Oh, Panda, I love you. All right, what we got next? The Sly King with basically showed us its touch. I should get all the points for that one. Yeah, well, I got silver. Because that's Sly King doing what it does in its natural habit. It sleeps. This is going to be a good one. I don't know how good, but it is two star. I'm going to say gold. Front. Really? You suck. Drew, you suck at taking pictures. I like how the, the Arbok over here is just creeping along. This is not a good one. This, I would say, bronze. A palm, this might be silver or gold. Might be. I'm not. Gold! Yes! Nice. Power Slower. Oh, sounds. Power Slower. Alright, here we go. One star gold. I'm getting good at calling. Just by the picture. Bronze. Yep. I'm getting I'm getting good at calling the pictures. So. Alright, we're level one. Can we get to level two? No! We're almost there. Lentil Research Team, nice. Full fruit, or fluff fruit. You received the research title, Lentil Research Team. By the way, we like to start uploading standout photos for you. They deserve to be seen in life. Photos I upload will be added to your collection online. On your page, they'll be marked by your as your favorites. You change whether you be whether you like whether you'd like me to do this by going on settings, turning on auto upload on or off. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and return to camp. The photos were good, but we can do better. Now that we know we got the fluff fruit, and I mean, we had it before, but now that I know kind of what I'm going through in the path, I think we do better, especially on that live part. I think we get a much better live part. Uh-oh, we got messages. What we got? I wonder what it looks like when Torterra yawns. Aren't you curious to know? Really, Rita? Woman, I'm out here taking pictures of Pokemans, and you're out here worried about somebody's yawns. Nobody cares about the yawns. No, nobody cares about how to repair yawns. Pidgeot, cool, but it's kind of distant. That guy would warm up to you for a full blood fruit, too. That just... The way I make... No, I'm, I'm not saying it. All right, so now, let's go again.
So I think this is where we'll go ahead and end it. Well, well first we've got a little row and see who won the web credits. Tennis Rabbit! You won the web credits. Congratulations. I, I'm super excited. Crack it. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining us today. So the reason why we're going to end it now because I got a lot to talk about real quick because I'm going to go through the entire schedule. So here we go. So you know, every Wednesday, you had the Poker Shop at 2 o'clock. And at 6 o'clock, you had Magic Modern or Standard with Logan and Kelly. On Thursday at 12.30, you've got Troll vs. Toad, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go format. We're ending first round tomorrow between Jace and David with your shoutcasters, Josh Hampton and Ben. What's this? Simpson. Great. Great. Why did I say Simpson? I don't know why. All right. Ben Gray. Then, after that, at 2.30, 2.33 o'clock, we have the Fish Tank who will be on. So Fish, my man, is going to be back. At 2 o'clock on Friday. You're not doing one? Okay. So on Friday, we have two, 2 o'clock, we've got MTG Arena Draft, maybe some, maybe some Commander new stuff, maybe, with my man Jeremy. He's been killing it lately with that Commander, with that draft. I'm really excited to see what he does with Strixhaven. If he does a draft with maybe a Strixhaven draft or something like that, it'd be really cool. Then at 6 o'clock, we have, and I'm going to do some extra love for my boy JT, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Super Show with JT, where I think this week he should be cracking some Ancient Guardians, and I don't know who his co-host is going to be. And then Saturday, this Saturday, we will not be having the collectible show at 5 o'clock because we already had the collectible show yesterday. If you haven't watched it yet, go back and check the VOD uh, for the Star Wars show that made the fourth show. So at 6 o'clock on Saturday, we will have Dungeons and Dragons playing our escapades with, you already know the cast, we got Jason Palmer, we got Chris Gambrell, we got Holly Lynn, we've got Brooke Radcliffe, we've got Ben Gray, and then your DM is Josh Hampton. Of course, Kelly's going to be your man behind the camera. So come in and check out probably, to me, one of the best shows that we have out there, which is Dungeons & Dragons. And then if you come back next Wednesday, you'll be back with me at 2 o'clock. You'll start your week with me. Oh, and don't forget Thursday. We are starting a brand new show. Thursday at 6 o'clock. We have a brand new show starting. Josh is actually going to be the host of his own painting stream. To where you'll see him paint minis and fig uh, figures and things like that. Right on the stream at 6 o'clock, I believe. I think she's telling like happy little orcs. What is it? Happy little orcs. Like happy little trees. He's going to name it happy little orcs. Yeah. I I know. I know. I don't. We know. I love the man. So, Josh, JT Scooping Stream, I don't know, because I want to be a part of that as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. You might see me pop in on a show here and there. Uh, you'll be, we'll be back to, uh, later on tonight. Kelly's going to be on the camera with Logan at the new standard. I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful week. And peace out.